What's up everybody, we're back. In the last video, I showed you a bunch of free guitar amp sims, and now we have to show the bass guitar some love. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite free bass amp sims. I think about my guitar and bass tones a lot differently. For guitar, I want a variety of tones because I think about guitars and layers. And if you're doing guitar layers, you don't wanna just layer the same tone 10 times. So having a bunch of different plugins and profiles for guitar makes sense. When I think about bass guitar, I really just want a solid tone. There's really like two or three different types of tones that come to mind for me, and it really is the foundation of the song normally for me. I don't normally try to do anything crazy or fancy with the bass tones. I'll let the guitar do all the fancy stuff. So I just wanted to say that because all these bass tones are going to be great solid tones. They just might not be as fun as the guitar tones. So with that being said, let's get into it. As most of you know already, I love the Neural Amp Modeler. It's free, it's open source, you don't have to create an account or drop an email to get it. It's very light on the CPU and it offers thousands of tones. So there's a lot of guitar amp profiles out there, but there's also a lot of bass amp profiles. So if you have a specific bass amp tone you're looking for, go to Tone Hunt and type in whatever you're looking for. I'm gonna type in Ampeg. So right away you get an SVT through an 8x10. Name a more classic bass tone than an Ampeg through an 8x10. If you know what you're looking for, just search for it on Tone Hunt. And this profile is made by Arlington Audio. It's an Avalon VT737. Bass setting number three is the actual profile name. So this profile pack comes with three settings. And this is it. This is just the jazz bass with super old strings going into this preamp profile. No IR or anything. I'll do some finger style for you purists out there. Do some slap. So it really gets me most of the way there to that solid punchy tone that I like. One more thing I'm gonna do for this one is add an IR. The IR I'm using here is from Robot Dog Cabs. It's not free, but it's cool. You can use free ones too, it'll be fine. So I have a Galen Kruger 410 paired with the preamp profile of this Avalon. Here's what it sounds like. It's a great bassy, punchy tone, I love it. There are tons of other tones out there. This is just one of them, make sure you go check it out. Up next is Tonocracy. This is another great free option. It has a lot of stuff built in, but you can also use all this free Neural Amp Modeler profiles that you downloaded. Just drag them right in. So it's kind of like the Neural Amp Modeler on steroids. You got amps, you got cabs, you got effects. You can capture your own gear as well. Lots of options with this one. So let me build a tone real quick. And I don't think there's anything specific to bass in Tonocracy. So I'm just going to grab a Fender Sim, the 65 Deluxe. There are some bass cabs. Bass cabs are from ML Sound Lab. Grab a noise gate. So that's super fuzzy. Let's turn the bass down. That is a cool tone, but that's just not what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can clean it up. Let's bring in this Fox amp. Messing with the EQ a little bit. So those are just some of the options. Let's say you don't like anything that's built in. Well, so let's grab a Neural Amp Modeler profile instead. Oh my gosh, what is that? Is that the Avalon preamp again? And I can run it with a noise gate and a cab in the plugin? And let's say you do use bass effects. Well, they have a whole effects section. Let's do chorus. Say you want to add some distortion. Throw a screamer in front of it. And I'm just scratching the surface here. There are a ton of options here. If you're interested, go check out Tonocracy. This is the Growler by August Rose Audio, and this one's really cool. This is the one I go to if I want like a heavy, crunchy bass tone. Let's go ahead and turn it on, and I'll show you what it sounds like. This one makes me want to like really dig into the bass for some reason. You have a bass and treble option. You have growl and hot switches. The growl is the distortion on the lower end, and then the hot is the distortion on the high end. If I just turn the hot down or hit the hot switch off, you get just that low growl. Then if I turn the low growl off and just have the high on or hot on, get just the high-end distortion. So I like to have them both on. All your IRs are from RS Effects. I think I'm saying that right. But you have a handful of options there. Here's IR4. When I'm going for a gent type tone, like a dingwall going into a dark glass pedal or something like that, 
this is what I go to. And it's free, which is the best part. So that is The Growler by August Rose Audio. Go check it out. Up next, we have an older one, but it still holds up. This is The Bass Grinder by Audio Assault. And as the name implies, this is more for like a crunchy bass tone. You can get cleans out of it, but it's really geared for metal and punk and stuff like that. So here's what it sounds like. <laughs> Let's mess with the knobs a little bit. We got gain, we need more bass. Turn the bass up. You got three different cabs here. Razor cab. Also got shark cab. And we also have another amp too. It'll let me click it. There you go. We have the razor too. So it's definitely an older option, but you can still get good tones out of it. It definitely has its place, and if you're interested, it's free. And the last one on my list before I do some honorable mentions is the BOD pedal by TSD Audio. This one sounds good. It's an older one. I don't use it very often, but I do keep it on my computer just in case. And it's modeled after that Tech 21 Sansamp pedal that's so good and so popular. I kind of wish I had one. So this is just a plug-in version of it. Here's what it sounds like with the pick. You have a few knobs here, level, drive, low, high, blend, and presence. Let's see if this thing can get crunchy. All the way up. This is drive all the way up. I can get a little crunchy. Not bad. I definitely like it for just its straightforward clean tone though. How does it slap though? So it's definitely not my go-to, but if you're just looking for a straight up clean tone, the BOD by TSE Audio, I think is a great option. And just like the last video, my honorable mentions are Tonex and Amplitude 5. They both have free options and there are bass guitar amps in there too. But I can't show you anything about them because they've been crashing Reaper every time I try to open them. And I've updated and everything, but for some reason they're just not playing along very well. And I never play the standalone version of anything, so if it doesn't work in Reaper, I'm not interested. So, if you can get Amplitude 5 and Tonex to work on your machine, that's great. I recommend it. They sound awesome. And those downloads are huge too. I think the Tonex one was over 5 gig. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Those are 5 awesome free options for free bass amp sims. If you like something that's not on this list, please leave a comment and let me know. And everybody that's watching this video, let them know about it. I think that's all I got. So if you have any feedback for me, make sure to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.